chapter one. He adored New York City. When they screened it for people there at the beginning, they, they weren't sure what this movie was about, that it was a comedy and it was about a writer. So that was the other thing that you encouraged him to do. This was another thing that took place in a recording booth. When we put together the film originally, Woody's intention was that the opening montage would be something where people would just enjoy seeing beautiful shots of New York City. At the time of, I thought that this wouldn't have that kind of effectiveness, and in part because the shots were, the shots included things that were supposed to play as jokes and so forth and so on. The hustle bustle of the crowds and the traffic. To him, New York meant beautiful women and street smart guys who seemed to know all the angles. Ah, no, corny, too corny for a man of my taste. <clears throat> let me, let me try and make it more profound. His character was a writer, and he kept alluding to the fact that he was a writer. There kept being references to his being a writer. But it didn't seem to be important to the storyline, but there was a lot of talk about writing. Right. So I felt as though it would be helpful to the audience to feel as though they knew that he was a writer and that this somehow or other had some importance, and perhaps even to know what he was writing about so you had some idea of what this, these other subsequent illusions referred to. He wasn't keen on the idea of having any voice over that opening montage. So I figured rather than pitch the idea to him in, you know, in the abstract, I'll sort of figure out if there's a way that I can show him what I mean. And it, occur it occurred to me that a scene that there was a, a series of jokes that he had um, when he was talking to Diane. She asked him what he was writing about. And he said something like, my philosophy of life is that life is like a concentration camp. We didn't want to be here. We didn't ask to be here. They put us here. And the only way we can get out of here is by dying. And that's just chapter one. So, so I said to him, so I put it together in that opening montage, and I only put it over the daytime sequence. And then, the, then I cut the music so that the music would come on you know, big and strong on the, on the nighttime material and figured, okay, let's, let's compromise on this. We'll put voiceover on the daytime material and then nighttime material, you get the way you wanted it. You know, it'll, it'll work out. New York was his town and it always would be. He said, well, you can't start a film with a concentration camp metaphor right off the bat. <laughs> And I'm saying, I said, well, it doesn't have to be the concentration camp metaphor part. It's just to say that you're writing a book, and this is chapter one. So it, a couple of days later, a week later, or whenever the heck he decided he was going to give it a shot, we went into the studio, and we, again, recorded it to picture. And he, but clearly, clearly it was better than my concentration camp metaphor thing. But it was, but it, but it worked.